Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March. So let's just see what comes up. What do we got for Leo for the month of March? What do we got? Some sort of news is going to be arriving. I see the Eight of Wands. Something could happen all of a sudden, okay? Eight of Wands is ready, being ready, ready, fast movement. Things could happen fast. Things could change very fast. You could be receiving some news. Usually it's good news with the Eight of Wands, but it doesn't have to be. We're going to see what else comes up. We're going to start right out here. What else do I see? Overwhelmed in some way. Because now I see the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands is being overwhelmed, overworked, carrying or burdened by something. Burdened by something. You may not... You may have uh, so much going on or you're you're overthinking something. It's like you got to let something go, Leo, because that Ten of Wands, like you're holding on to something that needs to be let go. I'm not sure. Something burdensome, something that you're holding on to. Um, it could be something that you are, uh, you know, wands are about passion. So something that you passionately hate or you passionately love, but you're holding on to it. So you got to let it go. Um, so because it's an opera and if you think about the ten of wands, I mean really if you were to continue I don't know where this is coming from The ten of wands would be you know one through ten then you can start back over at one We're not going to go into the court cards then I what I saw was the ace of wands. Okay, which is a fresh start Okay, so you have an opportunity for something exciting an exciting fresh start to start fresh Just go for it now. There could be a sudden attraction here or an instant attraction with the ace of wands or something could instantly change or you get a new vision of some sort something um and with the wands it's it's a very fertile time um it's fertility it's about growth a new vision of some and it's exciting so there's some sort of some sort of excitement so far i've seen all wands okay so wands are excitement passion growth um What do we got for, oh, we're going to go start over here. What do we got for Leo? What do we have for, I had my eyes closed, <laughs> so I was losing track. Anyhow, um, what do we got for Leo? One card, please. What did I tell you? I knew it. I knew it. You got a major new beginning here. This is the Fool card. When you think about that Ace of Wands, that's an exciting new beginning. You have some sort of new beginning here. A new phase is about to begin. And you're being called to step forward in blind faith. It's like you got the world beneath you. Okay, it's but it's it's you're uh, you're on top. You're on top. You can travel, you can explore. It's like uh, this is an exciting opportunity to leave all that baggage because, and it's funny that I mentioned the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about baggage. When the fool starts a journey, he doesn't take the baggage with them. So this is leaving the baggage behind, the stuff that doesn't serve you, dropping it. Okay? Um, hmm. Having no fear. Let's put that right there. You got a major new beginning. And it is exciting. It is exciting. So let's see what else we got for Leo. Whoops. Well, when they go falling out like that, there's got to be a reason, don't you think? Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. So this is about remembering what love is, okay? It is. And opening your heart to new experiences because this is a new experience. When you, when you get the fool card, it is a new beginning. It is a new phase because, you know, you're starting a new chapter. And this is a journey. You're starting a new journey. So you're at the very beginning of a new journey. And something to do with um, feeling love. I believe this has to do with remembering what love is supposed to feel like. You may be feeling some sort of love in, you know remembering what it is supposed to feel like what do we got for leo from <laughs> same thing the other card did march Ooh, page of cups reversed 
page of cups reverse that's the overall energy now this could be a rejection of this could be an unrequited love situation um something to do with a child there's shattered dreams somebody's bubbles about to burst somebody is obsessed with their body unfortunately um this i mean i it is what it is right now this is a rejection it's tears it's uh obsessed with image or or we could have a child. It could be tearful. It could be emotional. I'm not going to pretend. Okay. The page of cups in reverse is emotional. Okay. Um, there's an unrequited love situation here. Or there's a lack of love. Or um, uh, somebody may not be following their intuition as well. Wow. Okay. Death card reverse. Now this is... Uh, it could be, I don't know if there's, this is a disaster or it feels like a disaster or an accident or an incident of some sort. There could be a delay. Maybe there has been a delay. There could be a delay in finding true love or there's been a delay of receiving love or a message of love or being in love or finding somebody. There may have been a delay. Okay. Why has there been a delay? Fear. Being held back by fear, holding on to something that is old, refusing to let go. Well, by golly, Leo, have you been refusing to let go of something? I don't know. What is it? And it may have to do with image because the Page of Cups could have something to do with image. It could. Um, this person, you notice, is very puffed up. Puffed up Im body image. Ace of pentacles you got a golden opportunity right around the corner it's coming it hasn't been offered to you yet or you haven't seen it yet or you haven't taken it yet it's like if you could just go down that path this opportunity is huge so you are going to get a huge opportunity of some sort huge new beginning nine of pentacles reversed seven of swords ha ah, yikes ace of wands reversed not good but uh, cheated. You've been cheated. No, you've been cheated of something. Uh, we have somebody here that uh, isn't stable, isn't secure. It doesn't work hard enough. Doesn't put in enough effort. I'm sorry. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that um, doesn't find their strength. Okay, you need to find... I'm telling you, this is somebody who has strength. Okay? So somebody needs to find their strength uh, to come up with a new vision or to look at something differently. It's like you're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself of love. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Somebody is cheating themselves of love. I don't want to be alone. It's like you don't want to be alone. But there's a lack of vision or there's a lack of growth. It's like something is going... You're not on the same page with somebody. With the Ace of Wands reversed. It's like not excited or being weighed down. Being weighed down by a cheater perhaps. Or being weighed down by maybe your own insecurities. Because this is body image. Somebody may have some self-esteem issues. Self-confidence. Some issues with their body. You know, and maybe they're settling or something like that. Um, there is definitely some sort of lack of self-esteem here. Uh, but this is cheating. Cheating, uh, robbing yourself, or being robbed, being robbed. Somebody could be stolen from the same, because this is a, could be a loss of abundance. I'm, I'm not kidding. Good news is arriving. <laughs> That's good. Five of Swords. A strength card. Yeah, you need to find your strength. We just talked about that over here. This is self-confidence. This is self-worth. This is courage. Be brave. Hold your head up high. Master your emotions. You may go through a period of depression. Maybe you start out this month in a period of depression. You know, maybe you, you got this low self-confidence beginning of the month, you know, and you're thinking, oh, poor, poor, pitiful me. You know, uh, I'm never going to find somebody. I'm never going to get anybody. You're not excited. You're being weighed down. You're depressed at the beginning of the month. You've been holding on to something you have because I saw that Ten of Wands 
and then this ten death reversed is holding on to something that is a dead end of some sort. Once you find your strength to hold your head up high and master your emotions and turn your back on whoever it is that has been hurting you, and I don't know who this is, but there is somebody that has been hurting you and you need to turn your back on them, you have a golden opportunity waiting for you. So there is a golden opportunity right around the corner for you, okay? And whatever this is, this is it's like this person is going to see your beauty, okay? They're going to see your beauty. They're going to see your grace, all right? Um... But this is some sort of battle that you, I feel like you need to completely walk away. Walk away. You have somebody that is better suited for you. And I think you know who I'm talking about. So this is a better suitor. Good news is arriving. For some of you, if you have been alone and you have been thinking, I'm never going to meet anybody and I'm going to be alone. I know I don't think that's the case. Okay, I think you got a new opportunity. You may not have seen it yet, but it is coming. For some of you, you are holding on to a dead end because that is the meaning of this card. And you have to drop the baggage. You can't take any baggage with you into this new life. You cannot. No baggage. None. So I feel like you have an opportunity. You've manifested something. Or maybe this is the month where you put the plan into action and you start manifesting. But you're going to have to find the strength to restrain yourself. Because this is a card of restraint. You have to restrain yourself and be proud of yourself and hold your head up high. And don't, and don't let people bring you down that mistreat you and disrespect you and don't really love you. Or whatever the case is. The, 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 the first card out page is very prominent to this month the page of cups reversed this tells me that there's an unrequited love situation where you know there's somebody that is insincere they're insincere and and maybe you're not seeing it you maybe you're not seeing it because you're lonely this is kind of um, loneliness you don't need another person to complete you when you get the nine of pentacles reversed, we got somebody here and with this card, there may be somebody that is infatuated just because they don't want to be alone. Well, you could you 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 could be cheating yourself of something big, something solid, something permanent, something stable by holding on to something that is false just because you don't want to be alone. So I feel like this month, this is finding the courage to turn your back on something because you know deep down that you have something better for you. So you're probably going to be receiving a message or an invite from somebody. From, because this is somebody that is well suited for you. And it could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody that is younger. This person is a little bit younger than you. Um, but you have to restrain yourself. Because this is restraint. Okay? Um, Uh-oh, Queen, Queen of Wands reversed. You can't force yourself. Now, the Queen of Wands reversed is somebody, I'm going to tell you this straight up, and you aren't going to like it because this is you. But in reversed, this is somebody who forces themselves. This is somebody who is desperate. This is somebody who gets angry and upset when they don't get attention, and they need attention, and they go looking for it. find your strength to restrain yourself from getting frustrated your your struggle this month is going to be your self-confidence and your self-worth so this month i feel like you need to wait for them to put that opportunity in front of your face it is right there it is right above you but if you force it it ain't gonna be good who wants to be forced If you are the masculine watching this, you may be dealing with a feminine that is forceful. Okay, you may be dealing with somebody who needs is high maintenance, needs a lot of attention. Now, the Four of Swords reverse is the death of an idea. Let go of those old ways. And maybe that's the baggage. And this is a self-image problem as well. The queen of, there is somebody here that has a self-image problem. It's a problem with their looks. So somebody has a problem with how they look, you know, and their image is, uh, setting them back, bringing them backwards. This is poor health, ill health. 
And this is ill health too. So I'm wondering if somebody's health declines because of unhealthy behavior. Um, but the four of swords, that's the death of an idea or person because, uh, but it's reversed. It's extremely exhausted. Health issues, slow down, frustrated. We have somebody here who's going to get frustrated. Yes, we do. They're going to get very frustrated. But they have the strength to master their emotions. So you have the strength to master your emotions. But there could be an outburst of some sort. Because there's, there's impatience. Oh, that's what it is. No patience. No patience. You got an opportunity they're going to bring to you. It's right around the corner, but you got to be ready. The Eight of Wands, remember I saw that the very first card I saw, is about being ready. The message is going to come. The, the Eight of Wands is the rods of love. The love is going to come. It's going to come, but you've got to be ready. And you've got to be ready uh, confidence-wise. Okay, so it's almost and there's lack of self confidence here, but anyhow, um, we do have a new beginning, we have a new start here. Some of you are we have a golden oh, look at that, I flipped over the lovers. But we got the Knight of Swords that fell out at the same time. Knight of Swords reversed. This is okay, the Knight of Swords reversed is a runaway train. This is a know it all. This is a know-it-all who uh, leads others into danger, can be explosive and insincere. Somebody that moves way too fast, doesn't think, negative, out of control. Let me put that right here. These two flipped over. Wait for it. It's just about time. I'm telling you what, there is something that you have manifested and it is time. You are going to be, I mean, this is a soulmate connection that is coming. It's coming in time when it's time. You know, I know this reading is for March, but I feel like your love connection comes in June or July if you are single, okay? And I know that you, you want it now because I can see that you do, but... I think that you have to manifest it. You have to call it in if if you are single. Okay, this is for the singles out there. You have a major new beginning. This is the beginning. It's the beginning. It is the beginning. Okay, consider you yourself at zero. You're not at four. You're not at home base. You're at zero. You have a new beginning that is coming with somebody that is perfect for you. This person has dark hair. Dark, dark hair. Okay, I feel like this is somebody that um, you may have known a long time ago. I feel like this Cupid is bringing you two together. I feel like this is a kindred spirit, somebody that you will feel very deeply, deeply connected to. I feel like this person, um, I think you're going to be with this person in the summer. And I don't know when your summer months are, but I think it's June, July. So I can, in my hemisphere, it's June, July. So I feel like there's something that you have been waiting for and in June, July, it's going to manifest because this is manifestation, but I see you getting frustrated. Perhaps you need to work on your self-esteem and your courage and your confidence this month to get ready, get ready for that time when it's, when it's harvest time, okay, when it's time. It's coming. It is coming. So I feel like this month, you, you may meet somebody spontaneously, but it might not be this month. You know, I feel like it's coming. I'm not sure it's going to be this month. I'm not going to lie to you and feed you some fucking fairy tale. It's not who I am. I do see a love connection that is being manifested as we speak. Right now, you are at the very beginning of this person. This person is on the way. They are on the way. There is a little bit of work that you need to do. Part of this work is walking away. Walking away from somebody that has hurt you completely. And whether you have already walked away and you are still holding on to some mental conflict, hey, that's still holding on. We do have somebody here that is holding on to a dead end. They don't want to be alone and they want it to happen right now. Right now, we'll get you in trouble. I have to tell you that you need to you need to you need to breathe. Okay, you need to breathe. You need to wait. You need to manifest and and it's coming. It is coming. So, right now you need to work on walking away and not giving your energy away 
to somebody that is arrogant and clueless and dangerous and explosive and doesn't care about you. Focus on the future because you have a new beginning. Good luck.